Red's Fly Shop. This is Bob. How may I help you today? Look at that. Woo! All right, we're doing kind of a different type of video today. So this is an Orvis Helios D series, which stands for distance. It's their faster action rod. And this little number is an eight and a half foot, it's actually an eight foot, five inch, eight weight. And I was testing it on a saltwater trip and broke the tip. And uh, it was a really, it was a completely my fault. It was in a very unique situation where I had some tarp and some snook and some bonefish all in one spot. And I was trying to get one of the tarpon, and I ended up hooking a really nice bonefish um, on a streamer on 40 pound test, which is very rare. And I was trying really hard to land the bonefish very quickly so that I could try to get the tarpon that was in there. And I got, I was horsing the fish, and anyway, I wrapped the line around the tip. I think I might plug in a video of it as well, but anyway, I broke the tip on the rod. And it's unfortunate because I really like the rod. But what I want to share with you today is I have not done uh, a repair with Orvis, uh, gosh, in a long time. Uh, my first semi-quality fly rod happened to be an Orvis. I ordered it out of their paper catalog in about 1998. It was an Orvis Clearwater. And uh, I haven't really had an Orvis rod since then. But anyway, I'm going to jump online and uh, I met. Go to Orvis.com. It's really easy to find the rod repair. and. I'm going in totally blind. You can time this if you want, but I've got to create an account and uh, it's really easy. I'm just going to suggest a password and uh, go ahead and create my account first. And now I'm at Fly Rod Repairs, so I'm going to click US Repairs and uh, I've got to register my rod, apparently. Oh, okay. I can just go in, enter all my my stuff and uh, I got this in April so 04 so 19 2024 okay I choose the one Helios D 2024 eight and a half or eight foot five inch eight weight right there and I got to get uh, the serial number so let me get the serial number off the rod and I'll plug that in so the serial number on this rod is a long set of numbers. It's uh, hidden by the reel. When the reel is on, so it's on the reel seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch that in and get my rod registered and then proceed with the repair. Okay, so I uh, entered my serial number, registered my rod, and then I actually had to like go click on my account and then hit repair again. So that slowed me down for about a minute. Hit next and uh, I'll proceed to payment. And uh, 60 bucks, okay. So shipping, it's free shipping. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so now I just enter this again. My browser will autofill all this stuff. I continue to payment. And uh, credit card, yep. There's the credit card. It's already pre-saved in my browser. Hit review. Okay. All right. So I don't know how long that took. Maybe, oh, five minutes. Top, I mean, tops. That was with me kind of hitting the camera and stuff too. So anyway, I'm going to get a new uh, tip section for this. This rod has been reviewed and reviewed and reviewed, um, but I will make a few comments about it shockingly lightweight and crisp um we've cast i've cast pretty much most all of the dnf models with the exception of the like the super heavy weights but um we had a 10 weight in christmas island uh, that my fishing partner was using for giant travel i got to cast that quite a bit in the d series and um, i played around with all the f series they're they're really nice rods uh, but uh like i said they've been reviewed uh a ton so i'm not sure there's much i can tell you about the performance things uh it definitely deserves to be in the conversation for pretty much any high-end rod purchase uh that you might uh inquire about and there's the section and i i was just way too hard on it i mean it's not designed to horse fish in with 40 pound test where there's no stretch 
but uh, I did break the tip. Again, totally my fault. But anyway, it deserves to be in the conversation with any high-end rod that you purchase. Uh, I think it's a fabulous buy. Um, no issues or no complaints there. We'll see uh, how fast the warranty takes to turn around. Anyway, 12.41 p.m. Friday, June 7th, ordered the new replacement tip for the Orvis Helios uh, D-Series 8 foot 5 inch 8 weight. Let's see if they can make good on their guarantee. Okay, so I got the spare tip for my Orvis replacement rod and I ordered it on Friday and the whole system was pretty good. Registered the rod, did all that as you saw earlier in the video and then I actually got really nice confirmations uh, when I ordered just like I was ordering any product and uh, I don't know if you can read that or it's legible but uh, I was down here at the shop and this got delivered to my house on Thursday at 3.07 p.m. So even with a weekend in the middle, I got my replacement rod or my replacement tip uh, in six days, which is pretty impressive. Comes nicely packaged, just, just like I ordered a, a t-shirt or anything else. And uh, so my spare tip is in here. Let's go ahead and open this. And uh, just about how I'd expect it. And uh, we're gonna open this up. And we'll see how she fits. So supposedly these things fit absolutely perfect, even the replacement ones. And I've got alignment dots on there. And uh, it feels like it fits just right. I mean, it's not going down too far. And so there I go. So six days, uh, everything worked great. Uh, really good communication uh, from Orvis as far as you know, saying, hey, we got your, got your order, just like ordering a product, tracking notifications. I could track the spare tip as it was inbound. I believe there was an, uh, an option to expedite it as well, but I just did the standard uh, shipping and got here in six days. So got my Helios D uh, back rock and rolling. Took me a total of six days. So uh, I would say six days with a weekend had I ordered it on a Monday or a Tuesday and didn't live all the way on the other side of the country, I would be willing to bet I could get the spare tip in two days uh, geographically if I lived closer and hadn't placed the order over weekend. So anyway, yep, complete, rods back together, fits great, everything's working well. And I would say in this instant, or Orvis delivered exactly on their warranty uh, as described. So anyway, that's my summary.